My name is Mandy, I'm so very Lie, oh my, it's a little bit scary Boys wanna marry, looking at my dairy Hey, you can stay, but if you touch it, I'm a berry Pretty as a picture, sweeter than a swisher Mad cause I'm cuter than the girl that's with ya I ain't gotta talk about it, baby, you can see it But if you want, I'll be happy to repeat it My name is Mandy <laughs> It's Amanda Dubé here. I'm coming at you with a pink wig, okay? Now, I noticed my baby hairs look a little bit weird. I don't know, they look better in person. They look weird from the side. It is what it is. Before you even, you know, start watching my videos, I want you to subscribe to my channel. I want you to turn your push notifications on. <laughs> I want you to comment, do you guys like my hair? You guys, this is an old pink wig. I dyed this a long time ago, and I just thought, you know, I'm gonna revive it, so, you know, I cut it. The cut is obviously not the greatest, but, you know, we're friends here. <laughs> Today, you guys, I'm gonna be doing a haul. Now, this is mostly a Dollarama haul, okay? Dollarama is like the Canadian dollar store, like Dollar Tree, you know? And I'm also going to be doing a mini haul. I have a couple clothing pieces. You guys, the dollar store has so much cute stuff that you guys need to be in on it. Like, if you don't shop at the doll store, I don't know where you shop. I really don't. Where, where, where do you go when you need sponges? Where do you go when you need earbuds and um, cotton pads for your face? Where do you go if it's not a daddy store? You feel me? I'm going to start with the non-dollar store stuff, just in case you don't really care, because I did go to the mall. I'll show you guys what I got at Urban Behavior first. So, I went to the mall last week with my friend Hanee. It was such a random day. You know when your friend texts you and says, what are you doing? And you say nothing and they're like, do you want to hang out? And you're like, yeah. It was one of those days. So, I went to Urban Behavior and I got this shirt. This shirt was 50% off. It was $24.99, 50% off. So, I think I paid like $13 or $12 for it. But I'm not going to wear it till I wash it. After we went to Urban Behavior, we went to H&M. Because I saw this TikTok, you guys, where basically this girl tie-dyes her sweater with wine. Spray that shit. Okay, you're going to want to let this baby soak for at least four hours. And final product, baby. Me, wine, love it. And I'm not really a red wine drinker, but I will obviously have to drink the rest of the bottle because of it. So anyways, I wanted to get a shirt that I could tie dye. We went to H&M. I got this dirty dancing t-shirt and i thought this was really cute this was only 14.99 is this a men's shirt i got this in women's so i think it's a women's shirt but men's women's i don't care where it all right but basically dirty dancing was an okay movie you know i don't really particularly remember why i was watching it because i was very young when dirty dancing came out so i really shouldn't have been watching that but i just thought the background of the shirt with red wine splashes would be really good i'm actually gonna make a video out of it i'm really excited i'll probably film this video sometime this week you guys, I've been having such an ugly week. You know, like the week before your period, at least for me, I feel ugly, I feel fat, I feel bloated, I feel worthless. You know, and alongside of me not working, I have a whole lot of time to sit around and feel sorry for myself. Like, that's why I'm filming so late, because usually I'll film like my Thursday video super early on in the week, so I have time to edit. But I've just been feeling so ugly, and I just told myself today, I was like, Amanda, you literally probably don't look very different, okay? It's more so a mental thing than a physical. So anyways, yeah, I was supposed to film this video a while ago, but I didn't. I don't know why I was ranting about that. It's been a long day. I got almost 24,000 steps today, so I've had a really long day. I'm a little tired. But anyways, I also got this shirt. I just think it's really cute. It's a Rolling Stone shirt. This may be really stupid, but is Rolling Stones just a magazine? Or was there like a band called Rolling Stones? I honestly don't know. I just got this shirt because I think it's really cute. I am one of those. I forgot I got this shirt. Oh my gosh, you guys. I really shouldn't be shopping this much, but it is what it is. Okay, this shirt, I got at Urban Behavior. I don't think it was original price. It's $19.99 here, so I think it was, I don't know if it was 30 or 50% off, but it's basically this Boys in the Hood shirt. And I thought this was really cute. I really like the gray. But I've never seen the movie Boys in the Hood. I know, I know, I know. I'm black. I'm a 90s kid and I've never seen this movie. I've never seen this movie in my life, y'all. Honest to God. But I do love me some Ice Cube, so it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> So now let's start with the things that I got at the doll store. So you know when you're walking around in the doll store and you're just looking and you just start picking up everything because everything looks cool? Yes. I bought a shower head at the doll store because I have a regular shower. I was just really curious as to see if this works. I was going to order a shower head on Amazon and I saw this at the doll store and I said, let me try it. This was only $4, you guys. So I feel like if it doesn't work, it is what it is. It was $4. I'm not really missing out too much. Wait, do I have to screw this onto the wall? Hold on. Oh, wall mount. There's a wall mount? Two screws. 
I'm not gonna put this onto the wall. I should have freaking read that. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Dick. Homegirl is renting. We can't be doing that. So never mind. Then I also got this. I don't know if you guys have seen this. There's an actual brand that sells these, but it's those super soft materials that you use to wipe off your makeup. What is this called? It's called a makeup removing pad. So I remember Jackie and I, and I did a video on like the actual product where she was like wiping her makeup off, but it's super soft. I'm gonna try this. Time to see if it works. Let's see. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so crazy, you guys, because you know, you know, if you used a towel, your makeup would not come off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it took my makeup off. <laughs> wow, $1.25. $1.25, you guys, that is so cool. I'm sold. I've been super into painting lately. That's like a new skill that I've developed during, you know, the quarantine. So I bought some canvases. I got this big canvas. I'm going to paint a cactus. I'm probably going to paint my friend Jen's cactus on this. You guys, I've actually been really into cactus paintings. It's literally a YouTube tutorial that I learned on YouTube. I've made so many cactuses. I made one blue cactus with like a blue background that I sent to my nephew in Toronto. I have a yellow cactus that I made for my bathroom. Pink one for my room. Yeah, so basically I got two canvases. This this one's more of like a square, this one's more of a rectangle. <laughs> They're just canvases, I don't know how to make that sound more entertaining. So I was watching Annie Drea, I love Annie Drea. Like Annie Drea's editing is on point. If you guys wanna watch a production on YouTube, you need to watch Annie Drea's videos. Basically she had a video where she was talking about this company, I think it's called Disney or something. It was like a sponsored video, but it was also like showing her room decor and she basically had a bunch of picture frames, like different sizes, different colors. And so I saw that this morning and I was like, I need that. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, you guys, because my room is kind of like, uh, I don't know where to put it in my room, but basically I wanna start that. So when I looked on the website, girl, it was like $250 for what I wanted. So I said, hell for now. Ain't nobody got money for that. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't got no job. I got this gold picture frame. It's really pretty. This was $3. So I have some picture frames that I already have. So I'm gonna create some like wall thing. And this was only $3. I got some honey buns. Oh my gosh, I wish I was filming this during the day because I could try it. So you guys, I always see people talk about honey buns on YouTube. I think it's like big in the States or something. I think people like honey buns, kind of like Twinkies. By the way, I don't think I've ever tried Twinkies before. But anyways, when I saw this, it was the only one left. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. So I want to try this in the video. Is it expired? July. <gasps> it expires July 9th. It's July 7th. Are you kidding me? So I have to eat this. I hope it's good. I mean, if it's bad, whatever. I won't. I'll probably still eat it, to be honest. <laughs> Let me not play up for camera. I got this cup, because I thought this was so cute. I hope I can put hot drinks in this. How do I know? Oh, maximum 60 degrees. 60 degrees Celsius. But I saw this. I thought it was really cute. If you guys ever come over to my house, I have really cute cups. Like, I love statement cups. For a while, I was collecting cups from different countries when I was traveling a lot. So, I love a good coffee mug, a good tea cup. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm having me some green tea after this because I'm going to start editing tonight because I'm such a YouTuber. It was $2. You guys, look how cute this is. I just want to move so I can go buy stuff at the doll store. Like, imagine if all my cups were glass cups. So freaking cute, right? I feel like rich people have like glass cups at their house. <sighs> you guys, this was $4 and look at it. How cute is this, you guys? It's a freaking light bulb with a plant with rocks inside. And get look at the best part, look at the best part, look at the best part, look at the best part. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Look. What the actual... Look at this, you guys, it lights up. Obviously, you can't tell how well it lights up because my freaking light, but how cute is this, you guys? I love fake plants, as you can see. I can't take care of real plants. I literally, my mom gave me a plant and I had to give it back, dead. She's obviously gonna have to revive it or do some sort of, I don't know, girl. But when I saw this, I thought, this is a bit of me. 
It's a bit of a four dollars. Got a cute little light. This is so cute. I'm gonna put it in my kitchen girl. Basically, to me, this is very much Terry like my brain. Okay, it's a big light bulb because I think a lot. I get a lot of big ideas, and then it's got rocks in there because sometimes my big ideas don't go anywhere. But then there's a plant growing, and so basically that's like my ideas. I'm constantly growing and evolving, but the plant is fake, <laughs> just like my growth. <laughs> But then, there's an actual light in the inside. As full of, you know, sheet as I can be, I still have got a little bit light. It's not a big light, but it's small light. It's not as big as the actual light bulb, but it's still light. So, yeah. Look at this cutting board. I got a wooden cutting board. I have a plastic, small, red cutting board that I also got from the doll store. But when I saw this thing here, for $4, this is... This is real wood. What is this? Bamboo. I mean, this is so cute, you guys. When I saw this cutting board, I thought, it's a bit of May. By the way, you guys, I've been watching Love Island. So if I've done like a British accent like seven times, I'm so sorry. The fact that I'm speaking in my actual voice right now is a miracle because I've been watching so much. I also got some gum. I've never heard of this brand of gum before. It looks very much so like five gum. But this was like $1.25, so I thought, Three packs of gum with 12 pieces inside, 12 times 3, 36. That's a lot of gum. I also got some toothpaste. Um, I use Arm & Hammer toothpaste. If you wonder why my smell is so bright, it's because I'm black and so against my skin, my teeth do look quite white. But also, I do use Arm & Hammer. For my painting habit, I got some acrylic paint. You guys, the doll store is out of paint. I don't get it. Why is everybody going out to get paint? You can't tell me everybody got a painting habit. I got a Toblerone. I love Toblerone, you guys. When Christmas time comes, I always ask people to get me these in a big, big, giant size. Also, I wonder, like, do Toblerones from different countries taste different? I really feel like chocolate tastes different all over the world. Like, dairy milk tastes so good from the UK, but dairy milk in Canada is like, it's okay. And then I got this wine stopper, you guys. Look at this wine stopper. Isn't this so freaking cute? If I open a bottle of white wine, I could finish it, like 100%. Even though I've lately become a white claw girl, I could definitely do some damage with a bottle of white. With a bottle of red, red wine makes me horny, to be honest. And since I'm single, I ain't trying to drink that. You know, you feel me? So I'm assuming when I do do my tie-dye video, I'm not gonna finish it. Because white wine, I always finish it. I don't need this for white wine, but I thought this was really cute. Oh my gosh, my red wine isn't even a cork wine. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. <laughs> and last but not least, I bought Tupperware. This Tupperware was $1.25. I'm gonna be making my friend's uh, son cookies, and so I decided that if I give them the Tupperware, they're never gonna give it back, you know? People never give back Tupperware. And I thought, you know what, just to make things run smooth, I'm just gonna buy this, it's $1.25. I could put all the cookies in there, I could give them the Tupperware, and I don't have to worry about it, because people never give back Tupperware. If you're anything like me, you don't give back Tupperware, unless somebody asks for it. That is pretty much it for my Dollarama haul. I don't know if you guys liked this video. Do you guys care for a Dollarama haul? I don't know. But anytime I go to the doll store, you guys, I always go crazy, so I thought I have to show them this. Thank you so much for watching, and eh, deuces. Don't worry.